Good morning, Bears. We're into October, but the weather is still holding on to those summer temps. Coming up, we have some reminders for college and career opportunities and a feature for Hispanic Heritage Month. I'm Max. And I'm Carter. Today is Friday, October 7th, and good morning, John Burroughs starts right now. Welcome back. Tomorrow our counselors are hosting a college and financial aid workshop from 9 to 12 p.m. You and your parent are welcome to attend. Come to the computer lab tomorrow morning in room 2122. The Burbank Youth Leadership Program is still open for applications, but the deadline is today. If accepted, students in the program meet every other Saturday for four hours starting on November 5th. To learn more and apply, visit the City of Burbank website or talk to Ms. Miranda in the, in the Career Center. Mrs. Miranda also hosts the Career Center Google Classroom with the code on the screen. You can find out about a lot of opportunities including the Bret Hart Halloween Hullabaloo. Students will get six hours of service for participating as either a scare, a carnival game worker, a ticket taker, or a haunted house worker. To learn more and sign up, please fill out the form linked in our Instagram bio. You can also talk to Ms. Meshkat in room 6207 for more information. Before we send it over to our club news, we are continuing to highlight people of Hispanic heritage who have made a difference in their, co in their community. Here is Daniel with more. Good morning, Bears. My name is Daniel Ochoa, and today we are featuring one person of Hispanic heritage who has made a difference in the community. Sylvia Rivera is one of the many influential people to honor and celebrate during Hispanic Heritage Month. She was a transgender woman who was an activist for trans rights and American gay liberation. Sylvia Rivera had a Puerto Rican and Venezuelan background and was born in the Bronx, New York on July 2nd, 1951. After she was orphaned at three years old, she lived with her grandmother. However, her grandmother disapproved of wearing makeup. At just 10 years old, Rivera started living on the streets. She was taken in by a local community of drag queens and gave her the name Sylvia. In 1963, Rivera met Marsha P. Johnson, an African-American self-identified drag queen who was an activist who was also excluded in a movement for gay rights. They later co-founded Street Transvestite Action Revolutionaries in 1970 to help provide financial assistance and counseling to young transgender people. They both continued to march and use their voices even after New York City Pride March organizers banned drag queens in 1973. That same year, Rivera gave her famous fiery speech at New York Christopher Street Liberation Day rally regarding the support of trans people of color and low-income people. She continued to give speeches and show support for transgender people in New York while she was a leader for transgender and drag queen rights. She disagreed with many other leaders in LGBTQ community about their agenda for assimilation into mainstream society. At age 50, she passed away due to liver cancer in St. Vincent's Manhattan Hospital in 2002. In 2019, Rivera was one of the first people to be inducted into the National LGBTQ Wall of Honor in the Stonewall National Monument. For GMJB, I am Daniel Ochoa reporting. Thanks, Daniel. Come out to the Quad at lunch today for a special activity for Hispanic Heritage Month. Switching gears to our club news, the Intersectionality Club has a meeting today at lunch in room 1149. ASB is holding a fundraiser for the junior class after school today with T-Pumps. Come get your boba for $5. In other club news, if you have not signed up for a student mental health board interview during club rush, please check to see if you have received the invite to the Applicants Remind account. If you still want to apply, please DM the board by the end of the day at Student Mental Health Board on Instagram. Speaking of mental health, Monday is World Mental Health Day. To show support for mental health awareness, please wear green to school and tag the Student Health Board in your pictures on Instagram. Finally, if you have not bought your homecoming tickets yet, you are running out of time. The dance is just over a week away, so don't hesitate. You can also purchase a picture package with White Studios. Visit the student store for more information. That's all for today's show. Tune in on Monday as we look at our weekly weather forecast and talk to our student mental health board leaders. I'm Max. And I'm Carter. Have a great day, Bears, and good luck to our sports in action this weekend.